What's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lokadok and today I'm gonna give you guys a couple of tips that might increase your clear speed progressing through the act. Now before we start, yes this is a re-upload. I was not happy about some aspects about the video that I made before. Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Number one things you want to do before you even start a new character. Now the most important part is thinking about your tree. It can easily save you up to one to two hours. A great way of doing this is getting a program like I'm using here, Path of Building. It also includes thinking about what you want to go first. For example, you want Elemental Overload first, and after that you maybe want to get Celestial Punishment. Think about that already before you start your build, because then you already know which path to take to get as fast as possible to Elemental Overload. So you don't have to spend time thinking about that either. Also something I like to do always is not opening my tree when I can only spend basic points. Basic points meaning all the small nodes on the tree. I only open my tree when I can apply notable passives which are the quite bigger ones on the tree. This also includes think about the gems you want. So for example you want to run Cyclone but Cyclone you only get an Act 3 which means you need to get a skill that you can run until you get your desired skill gem. And finally obviously also think about which bandits you want to pick up. Number 2. Staying on the leveled and what is the advantage of it? So before you go and do this keep in mind we have a safe zone meaning that if I'm level 8 in ship graveyard I'm perfectly fine because the safe zone for level 11 is 3. Now if I'm level 7 in ship graveyard that means I will get less experience because I'm too much on the level. Now why do we want to stay under leveled in the first place? Let's say we are level 8 in the prison and we are level 8 in ship graveyard. Level 8 prison we then need to kill 25 mobs to get 10% experience. Once again this is an example and not an accurate number. However if we are level 8 in ship graveyard this means we only need to kill 20 mobs meaning we need to kill less mobs to progress through the axe. Once again it's not an accurate number but you get the idea and remember you need to get level 9 in the ship graveyard and not in Maverin's caverns. Number 3. What to skip and what not to skip. I would recommend doing all side missions until Act 5. After Act 5 and Act 6 we're getting some pretty hard bosses and throughout they're getting harder and harder. If you do not have the proper gear yet you probably end up dying a lot which is really not something you want. So I would recommend skipping every side mission in Act 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. After you completed Act 10 you can go back to get all of those side missions to get those juicy skill points that you skipped previously. Number 4. Don't spend too much time killing rare mobs. It's fine to kill a rare mob once in a while but focus majorly on normal and magic mobs because they're way easier to kill and blue mobs also give increased experience. Now how do I recognize these? Normal mobs are white mobs and magic mobs have a kind of blue glow around them. Number 5. Running Blood Aqueduct or rushing straight to the Atlas. Now there are some mixed experience about this. I personally think that running Blood Aqueduct is not the best thing to do. I'd rather just spend my time filling in my entire Atlas to get those juicy red tier maps and sell those. Uh, why would you want to farm the Blood Aqueduct in the first place? Well people farm that for the card Humiliation which gives a Raza and to get some extra levels to kill the end boss Kitava. However both options are for me not really important because I just get a Corrupted Six Link the second or the third day and I've never experienced any problems with Kitava anyways so for me it's a big no go. However in the new expansion channel map is gonna be right at the bottom in tier 1 and channel as you can see also drops humiliation however it's still not confirmed if the card will even stay in that map sometimes maps will get other drops yeah i hope some people did find this useful if you did consider subscribing liking the video comment something below what you thought about the video etc etc uh so yeah that was pretty much the video hope you enjoyed hope to see each and every one of you next time and I will show you a little bit of a preview of the next video later.